I wanted to make this video to show you how I was able to gain my time back by using something so simple such as Calendly.com to set my appointments. I started to use this system that I'm going to share with you today several weeks ago and it has absolutely changed the way that I set my appointments and I have gotten so much time back. Simply by changing something so simple and so mundane such as the way that I set my appointments has absolutely changed the leverage that I now have with time. So let me show you the system today because I'm so excited. Hey, it's Jaime. If you're just meeting, welcome to the channel that brings actionable content to grow your business through online marketing. So if that sounds beneficial, consider subscribing. All right, so here we are in Calendly.com, which is a scheduling software that has helped me gain my time back. So this has been fantastic for me because I used to have an appointment setter, somebody that would help me with the appointments, but I just didn't like the way that they were being set up. I just felt that it was taking a little bit too long. It just wasn't that good for my needs. So I ended up just deploying this different strategy and it's been so much better. It's helped me get a lot of my time back. So I'll show you the system. You don't have to copy it word by word or event by event, but just know that it's working for me and you can adopt it for your needs. So for me right now, I have three appointments or three types of appointments that I send out. So let me reset real quick. With Calendly.com, you get a unique URL. So you can do a free account or you can do a paid account. I have the paid account because I need multiple events and I have additional features or different needs that I want to deploy via the pro account, but you can do this in the free account as well. So you have a URL that you send to somebody that you've already pre-populated what you want to, uh, what days you want to make available, what time you want to make available, the type of event that you have going on. So I'll show you how to actually create one so you don't have to worry about, well, how do I even create one? I'll show you how to do that in a little bit. So once you send that link to somebody that wants to have a meeting with you, they will click on that and then they will they will select the schedule or select an appointment that makes sense for them. So there's no back and forth texting, there's no back and forth calls, there's no back and forth emails. Hey, can you do Monday at 2 p.m.? No, I'm busy 2 p.m. Hey, can you do Thursday at 3 p.m.? No, I can't do that. There's none of that. You just send that link. Hey, I'd love to meet, here's the link schedule whenever is good for you. So that is what we're talking about. So with that premise in mind, I want to show you that I have three types of appointments whenever I schedule with somebody. So I have my VIP appointments. So these appointments, these are a little bit longer in length. These are thir uh, 45 minutes in length for my VIP clients. So who I categorize as my VIP clients are people that are already part of my system, already paying me basically that are already clients that they're my VIP, they're my priority because I want to have great customer service. So whenever a, they want to have a meeting, whenever somebody wants to ask a question about the ads that are being run, whenever it has a need, I just send them a link and then we get on the phone to discuss. So here I have a lot more availability, so a lot more time slots, which you'll see here in a couple of minutes of what that looks like. You, and uh, they're a little bit longer and all of these are connected with Zoom links. So I can integrate Zoom into my accounts so that way everything is already integrated with Zoom and with Calendly so I don't have to create events. It's fantastic. So it really kills the a lot of stones with one, a lot of birds with one stone so I don't have to go to Zoom and create the event. I don't have to send out um, in, an invitation. I don't have to sync it up with my calendar and certainly I don't have to coordinate the time. They just um, they just set an appointment or set an event that makes sense for them. Now with my VIP, I have another VIP which is for my EXP agents. So EXP agents that join me at EXP, they have a different um, they have a different level of attention from me than somebody that is not part of the um, of part of my network. So them as well if they um if they have an issue if they have a question if they have a need if they need to bend my ear for a little while i'll send them this calendar invite as well so keep in mind these are two different events or two different appointments that um they are operating from the same url but it, it sends them to different places so here they have a lot more options to choose from and are generally a little bit longer now if there's an appointment request from somebody that um, I get a lot of the DMs that say, hey, do you have 15 minutes? 
Most of the time I don't, <laughs> but in enough conversation, just exchanging, just to see what they're after. If it's a, um, if it's something I would be able to help out with, or if it's a business opportunity or something that really warrants my personal attention, then I'll send a calendar invite. So this, this URL with an appointment request. Now the appointment request is generally much less than the, uh, the appointments that I have up here. So I believe this one is either 15 minutes or 30 minutes. No, it's 30 minutes actually. Hey, one quick second. I'll let you get right back to Calendly, but I wanted to ask for one small favor. Would you mind going down to the bottom of this video and smashing like? Thanks. So to have a conversation and this one has limited time slots. So this one doesn't have as many options as these because it's a different level of priority. Now you may think, wow, Jaime, that's a bit, um, that's a bit much. That's a bit, um, a callous or you're being a jerk, whatever. But at the end of the day, it's my time, right? So I want to make sure that I allocate it wherever it's going to have the maximum return. And this is just the way that I choose to operate my business. I'm getting ready to add a fourth one just from another, um, something else that I have going on, which you'll soon find out what it is. So it's another calendar invite. Now you can do just one event or you can do multiple like I do. So here I just send it dependent on the person, depending on the goal of the calendar. So I'll show you how to create one right now. So you just have to go to create. And then when you go to create new event type, you can select what you want it to be. Most of the time you're going to go with one on one conversation. So let an invitee pick a time to meet with you. So that's the point of this. That's where you get a unique URL and you um, pre populate when you're going to be available. So we're going to go with create. All right. And now what we're going to do is the event name. So we're going to say test event. And then the location you get to select. Hey, do you want it to be a phone call? So if you go to a phone phone call, I will call my invitee or my inv invitee should call me. So that phone number, your phone number will be put there. So if you want to call them, then you can just leave that and it'll ask for their phone number um, after the fact. So we're going to put can uh, cancel. But for <clears throat> if you're planning to meet with them over the phone, then of course you're going to do phone call. But if you have your integrations done, you can integrate it with Zoom, which is what I do. So um and well it just depends on the event that i have like with my general uh general event i don't i think it's just a phone with my other vip events they're zoom based so i'm going to leave it at zoom and then the description of the instruction so provide a summary and details your invite should know about the event so schedule to talk via Zoom. So you just put a little bit about the detail and then you can name it and you can cut, color coordinate it. So if you saw over here, I have different different colors just so I see it visually different. I'm gonna move myself for a second. I'm gonna go to next. All right, so what did we just do? We just did that up there. Now you see here, when can people book their event? So you can put a 30 minute event or you can do 40 minutes of it. You can do 15 minutes, whatever you want to do. So I'll leave it at 30 minutes. And if you have an appointment, just depending on what you do, if you have a full presentation, let's just say you have a buyer lead and you want to do a full buyer consultation with them, then you can put custom in, put it for 90 minutes, two hours, however long you want. You can do that in the custom. Events can schedule 30 over th 60 calendar days. So depending on how busy your calendar is or how you how far you want to be ahead, then you can just put that right there. So you see over a period of rolling days, over a date range or indefinitely. So you can put it, um, I just want to book out 30 days in advance. So you can apply it there. So it's going to be 30 days in advance. And then you're going to select the time zone. So you can either do local or based off of their, uh, based off of, based off their local time zone or your time zone. I highly suggest that you go ahead and leave it in local, which means local to their time. So there's no coordinating that way. And then set your availability when people can schedule meetings with you. So you see right here, you can select anything that you want. Let's just say on Mondays, I want to only be available from nine to 11 AM or 1 PM. We'll just say 1 PM. And then you'll, you're going to say for all of Mondays, I only want to be available from nine to 1 PM. All right. So that that's what you want it to do. And then on Thursdays, let's just say you don't want to be available Thursday. 
So you wipe that out. So this is what you're seeing right now. Now, in the advanced, you can set some additional requirements. So set the frequency of available time slots for your invitees. Show an increment of 30 minutes. So every 30 minutes, you can have an appointment. But if you want to do something like 60 minutes, it just spaces out that way. And then events, uh, max events per day, you can just say, I only want to have two meetings per day. Minimum scheduling notice, you get to decide how, um, how far in advance you need notification. So it's going to start rolling it out based off of, hey, I need an entire day for me to plan for whoever's going to schedule. So that means that if they, they try to schedule four hours from now and you have the minimum be 24 hours, they're not gonna. They're not even gonna see that event. So there's no possible way. So that way you can protect your time a little bit more. So it's a little bit further ahead. So this is what I do with my events as well. Given that I don't want to. Um, I don't. Honestly, I just don't want to be available at the drop of a hat. Um, I know it sounds a little bit bad, but I I do like preserving my time, and that's how I've been able to gain a lot of my time back to do what I need to do, and then um, address anything that comes up. Uh, on a time being and then buffer use this I'm sorry use to set aside preparation rest or travel time before or after events so if your events are a little bit heavy uh, you think that they're gonna run a little bit long then you can put some buffer time after the event or some buffer time before if you need some time to prepare prior to the meeting whatever the case may be that way you're not continually running through events and you can um you have time in between so we're gonna put cancel real quick just so we see it and then we go to the test event you can turn that on and then what we're gonna do copy link paste it over here and this is what it's gonna look like so make sure that whenever you create your Calendly account make sure that you have your image make sure that you have your logo and then you see how it's being scheduled. So if you go forward, remember that we did, did we do 60 days or did we do 30 days? I can't remember. We might've left it in several days, but, um, oh, we must've left it in 60 days cause I didn't press save. So you have the ability to, uh, get somebody on your calendar or let me rephrase that people have the ability to get on your calendar. And this is the way that I've been able to gain a lot of my time back absolutely at least get the free version you're not gonna have all of the options that you saw right now but you're at least gonna have the option to have one link and just start from there start building out the calendar that you want to have so you don't feel stressed all of the time so you can take control back of your calendar and work when you want to work and when it's convenient for you so you can get a lot more done well, now that you know what I did to gain so much time back it's time to get back to business so I'll leave a video right here that's gonna help you do that also, if you found value today, please be sure to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss another video. And of course, make your best day yet.